This is absolutely one of my favorite topics ever when we're talking about thyroid medication, and that is T3. So Cytomel, Leothyronine, however you want to call it and term it, it's awesome because T3 is your active thyroid hormone. We have talked about this at length, so please feel free to go back and watch any of my videos and Facebook Lives from the past few weeks. I'm diving deep into one topic every single week just to support you and give you a lot of great information so you can be an advocate for your own body and your health. So when it comes to thyroid medication, we have to, again, consider you as a whole person, look at all of your labs, complete lab panel. We went into all the different labs over the last couple of weeks with TSH, free T4, free T3, and reverse T3. And of course, the thyroid antibodies as well. So we take all of that into consideration and then we look at you as a whole person. So we ask, what are you still dealing with? What symptoms do you still have? So let's put that all together in a nice little bundle and then decide what medication is right for you. Many, many times I find that patients do well and thrive and get their lives back with T3. So whether that is Cytomel added into Synthroid, so we'll just add a little bit of Cytomel into your regular dose of Synthroid that you're probably already on since Synthroid is the most prescribed medication. So a little bit of Cytomel, butt it up with Synthroid, makes a really nice T4, T3 combination. And that little bit of T3 can do wonders in your body since that's the active thyroid hormone. The other option is if you are on an NDT, which we went over also this week, natural desiccated thyroid, that's an 80-20 split of T4 and T3, we can add in a little bit of Cytomel to that, just boosting up the amount of T3 that your body gets. Let's make your cells happy. Your cells have the receptor sites on them for T3. They do not have receptor sites on them for T4. Let's make your cells happy and give them a little bit of T3. The third option is for people who are non-converters. And I spoke of this in great detail in the Facebook Live this week and also on the topic of Synthroid and why your Synthroid might not be working. But I personally am a non-converter and I'm seeing many of more of my patients come up as non-converters as well, whether there's a high reverse T3 or whether that person just simply does worse and experiences hypothyroid symptoms when we add in T4 or increase their dose of T4, which is Cytomel, or I'm sorry, Synthroid or Levothyroxine. So let's keep that in mind. So non-converters need T3 only therapy. And this does wonders. And then the dosing is where we just work together and we work with your body and we work with your lab values as well as your symptoms. And we piece that all together. So many people need T3-only therapy because when you give them T4, they get worse. So you would think more medication, better? Not necessarily true. Sometimes when you actually increase the dose of Synthroid, a person will experiencing more hypothyroid symptoms. So again, Cytomel, Leothyronine. Cytomel is the brand name. Leothyronine is the generic. It's T3. It's what your cells want. Hashimoto's patients do better with a little bit of T3 added in. And we can easily increase the percentage in patients that are on NDT. And then just remember, you might be a non-converter and need T3 only therapy as well. I promise to go deeper into this in upcoming videos. This is a nice, short, sweet overview of medications and what you might need. This is what I do with patients. Once again, I work one-on-one, -on -one, we dive deep, and we figure out exactly what is going to work for you. Medications are like Cinderella's glass slipper, and we're gonna continue using this analogy because it has to fit you perfectly, and it has to take down your symptoms, give you your life back, and make you feel great. It completely is possible, I promise you. I do this every day with my patients. So thank you again for tuning in. Please ask questions below. I will answer each and every one of them. Feel free to direct message me and visit my website at amyhorneman.com because there you will find a free guide, a free downloadable guide 
that gives you all of the optimal lab value ranges for your thyroid. And that's very important when you're looking at your numbers and you're looking at the medication that you are on or that you may go on in deciding exactly what route to take and what your body needs. So let's look at and get you into the optimal lab value ranges on your labs. And then let's also get you feeling optimal as well. Thanks for watching.